Hey, Julie, that's right. Now, the latest in a string of social media quotes from the actors in the TV show Will and Grace. They are related to a fundraiser for the president next week in Beverly Hills. It's caused quite a bit of controversy in the entertainment world. McCormick posting on Instagram that he's not calling for a boycott of Trump donors, just saying he does not support blacklist or discrimination of any kind. He said he went on, he wanted to know full transparency about who the donors are. And last week, of course, he had tweeted to the Hollywood Reporter to report on everyone attending the event so they'd know who they didn't want to work with. His co-star, Deborah Messing, had also used social media to be asked if the list of attendees be published. Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. If you watch this channel with any regularity, you probably realize that I'm not a huge fan of The View. Haven't been ever, I guess. Joey Behar, insufferable. The other girl, I don't remember her name. Pretty terrible. Meg McCain, too Republican for me, but that's okay. Whoopi Goldberg does have rare moments of clairvoyancy, and this is one of them. When it comes to the Will and Grace thing, where they want to put out a list of Trump donors in California, people who support Trump so that they can't work work with them in the future. Crazy stuff. Just silly stuff. Will B. Goldberg had this to say. Check it out. Last time people did this, yeah. people ended up killing themselves. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a good idea, mm -hmm. okay? Listen, your general. your yeah. idea, idea of who you don't want to work with is your personal business. Do not encourage people to print out lists because the next list that comes out, your name will be on, and then people will be coming after you. No one, you, sh we, nobody. We had something called the blacklist, and a lot of really good people were accused of stuff. Nobody cared whether it was true or not. They all, they were accused yeah. and they lost their right to work. You don't have the right in this country. People can vote for who they want to. That is one of the great rights of this country. You don't have to like it, but you, we don't, we don't go after people because we don't like who they voted for. We don't go after them that way. We can talk about issues and stuff, but we don't print out lists. And I'm sure you guys misspoke when you said that because you, it sounded like a good idea. Think about it. Read about it. Remember what the blacklist actually meant to people. And don't encourage anyone, anyone to do it. We'll be back. Now, isn't this public record? Yes, it is. Isn't voting? Yes, of course. People's addresses are as well. License plates, dog registrations. <laughs> but if somebody put that stuff out, it would be insane. It, obviously, you want people to be outed because you don't want people to like them because you don't like them. You want something bad to happen to them, maybe not violence, but you don't want people to work with them. That's exactly what uh, I was going to say Dharma and Greg. Will and Grace were going to say. Maybe we should be fans of Dharma and Greg instead. But you might also be saying that, hasn't somebody already tried this? Yes, presidential candidate Julian or Julian Castro running for president already did this, pulling at a magnificent minus 5% because who the fuck is this guy? I mean, come on, really? And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he put out a list of, I think it was in Texas, of people that were donating to Trump, the top donors, and a lot of them ended up being his supporters. Maybe not a lot, but a few of them at least did. So... A big LOL on that one. But if we look at McCormick's apology, which he put out on Instagram and not on Twitter, the initial stuff was tweets. He put this one out on Instagram, which obviously makes him, I don't know, pretty cowardly in my book. Uh, it's not really an apology at all. So let's read it again, shall we? I absolutely, absolutely do not support blacklists or discrimination of any kind. I'd simply like to understand where Trump's major, major donations are coming from. And quote, I don't want a blacklist, you guys. I just want, you know, a list of names of people and their political leanings and who they donate to so I can choose not to work with them and to, so that everybody knows who they are and potentially just ruin their lives. You know, like a black, uh, I mean, like just a regular list, just a nice public record list. Mm -hmm. 